See that slick right there? That should be a fish. Yeah, that should be. That should be a fish in here. You can catch him too. Yeah, I'll try. <laughs> I'll throw it out there. Oh yeah. Hey, how about that? That's nice. We got us another little uh, drag puller here. Little drag puller, but he's pulling drag. Now there's one thing about redfish, no matter where I go and catch them, they all pull good. Yeah. I'm going to put him right up there on the deck, you right? Swing him on up here. Nice one. Whoop. That's how we kind of turn him in the middle of the boat. Oh, 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 oh. <sighs> Good thing that line broke right there. Yep. Morning Glory <laughs> did the damage again on yeah. another uh, nine mile hole redfish. Nice and coppery from the... Oh, God, they stink. <laughs> Must be eating shrimp or something, I don't know. They probably think the same thing Woo. about you. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. <laughs> I think it's time for another one. <laughs> so, Sally, how many times a year you get to make it down here to Nine Mile Hole? It varies, really. It's a good windy day spot, so if, if it's a very, very windy year, then I'll be down here a lot. What do you mean if it's a windy year? I fish tournaments here, and I don't think I've ever been here when the wind wants to blow at 30. <laughs> well... It, excessively windy year. How about that? There you go. <laughs> hey, we got some drag going, fellas. We got a little bit of drag action here. Sounds like a redfish. Feels like a redfish. Right on. Looks like a redfish. We knew there had to be one hog in Oh, the yeah, there he oh, is. Oh, man, he's a hog, too, yeah. The nine-mile redfish oh, yeah. right there. We've drifted nine miles to catch this That's fish. That's right, we did. <laughs> That's an awesome fish, too. Come here, Mr. Redfish. Very nice. He likes underneath this I'm spear. right here for you, I'm just saying. I'm going to come around. Oh, my gosh. It takes a professional to do it. Like that. There he comes. <laughs> this, is, this is a hog from the hog hole, okay? Uh oh, oh no. You talk him into not going back there. He's like hanging out in that shadow. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Awesome little fish. Oh, yeah. It's actually a nine mile hole. Nine mile hole. And this would be South Laguna Madre? Uh, yes. Lower Laguna Madre? Well, it's actually on the lower edges of the upper Laguna Madre. Lower edges of the upper Laguna, oh. Laguna Madre. And that's a pretty one. Yeah, look at that tail. Redfish. Nice. Put him a little lesion over here, but mm -hmm. that could be all right. He kind of got bit up. See you, dude. The mullet kind of scared him, but he's still right here. He's not very big. I guess that was a fish. <laughs> can you, can oh you get any closer gosh. to him? Right. He was just sitting there on the bottom like a, a sitting drum. Like a sitting black drum. <laughs> like a sitting drum. <laughs> They're pretty feisty. You gotta keep their heads up. And hope you tied a good knot. And hope your line doesn't have a nick in it. Not much to get snagged or nicked on out here, is there? Not much. Oh. oh no! Ah! <laughs> that was an easy release. <laughs> he wasn't meant for the stringer. I got the, all the good out of that one. <laughs> so this is the land cut. How far down does this flat go? About 20 more miles. <laughs> <laughs> just a and little it, ways. And it's all pretty much just like this? It is. This is it cool. gets a little narrower in places and in a few places down there there's some back lakes that you can fish. Well your fly fishermen must absolutely love this. It's just a a real treasure. He's right here. Which way's he going? Going to the left. Mullet kind of scared him, but he's still right here. I can't tell if that's a footprint or a fish. I got there it. you go, right in front of us. <laughs> I love this stuff. God, you gotta love that. This is the way I live. The key right there was trying to figure out which way he was facing. A black drum. But he couldn't say no to the DOA shrimp. Oh, they love them DOAs, they love don't they? Them. Come here, dude. Get that head up. What's your size limit on black drum here? It's 15. 15 inches? 
So th we're gonna invite this one home for, yeah, our, for he, our camera guy? He definitely meets my criteria. <laughs> Black drum. On the half shell. On the half shell, we're gonna try that one tonight. Yeah, that sounds awesome. Listen to him. Oh, then he quit. <laughs> we get these fish up on the Indian River sometimes up to 80, 90 pounds. Oh, yeah. And they'll actually, when they swim under your boat. Yeah, you can hear them. You can, it goes doom, doom. <laughs> if there's any little snaps or anything loose that'll rattle, <laughs> you can actually hear the, uh, the snaps and stuff rattle. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what we've done now, we've changed locations. It's gotten real windy out on the flats out there. And uh, came back in, can't see much out there, but we got some nice clean water right here. And we're in South Texas, so we're doing what South Texans do, and that's wade the flats. And so. my favorite, sight casting. And it works well. Yeah. So let's see if we can get another one. See if I can get one. <laughs> Sorry about that. Oh, it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> it is fine. Well, welcome back, folks. What we're doing now is sitting in the water wading like they do in Texas. Like I said, when in Rome, do what the Romans do. We're in South Texas, and Texans do a lot of wading out here. We've parked the boat up on the sandbar. Actually, we've done about a 100 yard walk and Captain Sally went back to get the boat so we don't have to walk all the way back. Thank you, Captain Sally, for doing that for us. Got some redfish tailing right over here. We're gonna see if we can whack one while she's gone. There's one right here. Fish on, baby. Yeah, look, we got just ahead of them. Lo and behold, woo! Catch a nice redfish, baby. Well, as they say, when you're in Rome, do as the Romans do. Get out and wade when you're in Texas. Not only will it cool you off, but you can catch you a nice redfish too. Hello, Mr. Redfish. Got a pretty here, isn't it? Look at that puppy. Out of knee deep water. Gotta love that. Beautiful fish. They ain't all that big, but this is just like. Ooh, you hit me in the ankle. Almost like bone fishing in the Bahamas, except it's red fishing and black drum fishing on the South Texas flat. That was cool. It's been a really interesting day. You can tell that the times are changing and we've got a lot of ducks flying overhead. It is hard to keep concentrating on this flat right now. When somebody has <laughs> ate up as duck hunting as I am, seeing all these pintails, it's kind of hard to keep focused in the water. <laughs> There is just flocks and flocks of pintail and redhead flying by. By the time you see a tail pop up, here comes a flock by and you lose the tail. One of the really greatest things about Baffin Bay is that we are in the middle of the migratory flyway. Yeah, you're right on the central flyway where everything comes down from the middle of Canada straight down to Mexico. It's an unbelievable deal and things keep showing up. You know, more birds keep coming down all throughout the season. It makes it really fun for our uh, clients. And we shoot a lot of species of ducks, too. Uh, last year, I think we shot 13 species. That's pretty cool. Oh, we got a fish right ahead of us in that first pothole. About 35 feet. Okay, got it. Got it. Fish on, baby. Yes, that's what I'm <laughs> talking about. <clears throat> Finally, how long did it take to get that one to eat? About <laughs> <laughs> 20 minutes of hard labor. Wow. That was a lot of work for a redfish. That really was. That last cast was right on the money. He could not say no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Man, that fish was a lot of work. And a real heavy wind and throwing up wind. Great job. Never had so much work for redfish in my life. Really? <laughs> Come here, dude. They always like to try to shoot right between your legs. <laughs> you usually do. Remember when I was a kid wading, we'd be using top dog or top water plugs on them. And you'd get one hooked up and swim right between your legs and hook you. 
pretty fish. Same color as a rod, look at that. What's y'all's redfish limits here now? It's three per person and 20 to 28. 20 to 28. Mm -hmm. Beautiful awesome little redfish. Fish. Awesome. Well, way to stick with it too. I, th I think Mr. Aderman is going to eat tonight since he's <laughs> carrying that camera around and Adam too, but that is a nice one. The one on the half shell is just the best way to go. If we're going to get him on the half shell, you better pull that poker out. Uh oh. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> There you go. Thank you. Back at the lodge, we'll see you again, and you'll be mm -hmm. on a uh, black and red fish on the half shell, <laughs> something like that. Yes. Well, let's get re-rigged and see if we can spot another tailor. Y'all stay tuned. We're going to be right back. Captain Sally Black right here in the Upper Laguna Madre, South Texas. Rig It Right by Wright and Miguel. On today's Rig It Right segment, I'm going to show you what Captain Sally and I were out there throwing today. Real simple rig, same redfish rigs I've used, you know, all over the Gulf states, all the way up north on the East Coast, except for this one right here. This is Mark Nichols from DOA, a brand new shrimp that he's making. It's a two inch shrimp, and it was definitely getting the job done today. Had it rigged with 20 pound test Seaguar fluorocarbon. A lot of people down here don't like to use fluorocarbon or don't like to tie leaders on a lot, but I always say if it brings you one more hit during the day, it's done its job for me. Had it rigged with 15 pound test Smackdown, new stuff by Seaglar, smoothest braid in the world. Throw on the 7-2, just something I can carry around really light all day long. When you're walking the flats, you don't want to have to come all the way back if you don't like the rod you got. So Sally was throwing a shrimp, one of my favorites. This one happens to be the glow shrimp. Looks like any of the other shrimp that are around here, the white shrimp. When we were out on the uh, rocks out in the middle of Baffin Bay. We were throwing DOA cows, we were throwing mirror lures, top dogs, all sorts of plugs to try and get one of those great big trout. And it's fishing, it didn't happen for us this time, but I will definitely be back to give it another shot. That about covers the bait check. If you ever get a chance to come down here to Baffin Bay, make sure you look Captain Sally and Captain Aubrey up. They run a heck of an operation down here out of Baffin. One cool place. Remember one thing though, every fishing season starts at Dick's. Rig it right by Wright and Miguel. All right, Sally, I think I got one right here. All right. I think, I don't know, it's just a dark spot. About 30 feet? About 30 feet, yeah, it's just sitting there. Give it a shot. When in doubt, whip it out. That's right. Oh, great cast. He's got it. Fish on. Right on. <sighs> I think that was a black drum. I just saw a little dark gray thing sitting up there and tossed to him. Or is it a sheep head? Nope, it's a black drum. Yep. A black drum, baby! The targeted species. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. They're meaner than they look. They are. I think they fight a lot harder when they're this size. At least they move a lot quicker. When you get those big 50, 60 pounders, they just stay about five feet away from the boat and pull and pull and pull. <sighs> Hello, dinner. And when they're that size right there, you can't tell the difference between them and a redfish. And that's perfect. That's a perfect size because you get a really nice hefty fillet and their meat is really white. And not full of worms sort yet. Sort of like lobster meat. Nothing I kinda, but butter, baby. kind of always say when, when they lose those stripes, like a, like a sheep's head. <laughs> Don't bite. <laughs> when they lose those stripes there like a sheep head, that's usually about the time I don't I don't even keep them anymore, but that one right there is just a perfect size. Yeah, he's the perfect size. Where's, that, where's that string at? Well, it's right over here. That is a perfect specimen of a good eating size black drum. And I think we'll put him on the stringer if you don't mind. Go ahead and do the, do right. the sticking. All right, hang on. Oh yeah. Nothing but butter. Well, we got us a couple for dinner That's back right. at the lodge. Good job. What do you think? I love it. I think we should uh, go cook them up. Let's go cook them up. Okay. That sounds good to me. <laughs> hey, if you'll ever get a chance, make sure you look up Baffin Bay Rod and Gun right in Baffin Bay. What's the town? Uh, Loyola Beach. Loyola Beach. One <laughs> neat place. It's, it, it reminds me a lot of home here because there's not really much tide flow. We're on the same lat line. If we went due east from here and hit Florida, we'd run right into Cocoa Beach and Cape Canaveral and Tampa. Right in my backyard, just catching the same, same fish. Same fish, right. So don't forget about the website, addictivefishing.com, and make sure you look up Baffin Bay Rod and Gun and go fishing with Captain Sally Black or her husband, 
Captain Aubrey Black. They can both do just what you're seeing today. And they do everything to get you on the fish. We'll see you all next week. Thank you very much. Thank you. That was great. awesome. Thank you, it was awesome. great. Check out more footage from this show by logging on to AddictiveFishing.com for outtakes and bloopers. Like a sheep's head, no bite. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, little Beth Bay, we're looking for your grandpappy. The targeted species. <laughs> <laughs> a black drum, baby. <laughs> <laughs>